come to Roosevelt. Come on in, let's take a tour. Whether you ride the bus or come in a car, you will always start your day the same way. You will wait outside with your classmates in a quiet, orderly line until the bell rings. It's the start of a great day. Hi, I'm Mrs. Miller. I'm a special ed para and I'm also the supervisor for the patrols. I'm just here to ask you, please follow the rules and directions of my patrols. They're here to keep you safe. Thank you. If you come in after 8.15 in the morning, you are going to come to this little table in the entryway. Mr. Victor or another helper will be at this table. You will need to get a tardy slip and bring it to your teacher. If you come in after 8.30, you will have to check in at the office. Well, hello, come on in. Hi, my name is Terry Ronane, Mr. Ronane, I'm the school principal here at Roosevelt. Do you know that I've been the principal here for 12 years? But before I was a principal here, I was a dad of kids here. My three children went through this wonderful Roosevelt school as well. Oh, well, I bet you're wondering, what does a principal do? First of all, my job is to make sure you are safe here at school. And then after that, my job is to make sure the teachers are able to do their job, so just supporting them. So let's have a wonderful year here at Roosevelt, and welcome to the Roosevelt family. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. I'm Nurse Hannah. You can call me Miss Hannah. I'm in the health office. I'll be your nurse. I'm found right next to Mr. Ronay in the principal's office. So if you get hurt or you don't feel good while you're at school, your teacher will send you to come and see me. Welcome to Roosevelt. I hope you guys enjoy your year. And uh, thanks for being great kids at Roosevelt. And thank you to all the teachers. I'm Mrs. Lemieux. And I'm Mrs. Olson. We'll be working with students in grades three through five. And we're reading interventionists, so we'll be checking your reading throughout the year and working with some of, you, of the students. Hi, I'm Ms. Mosco. I'm your media teacher. You'll be coming to see me once a week to check out books and learn library skills. I'm not just your media teacher. I'm also your computer lab teacher. You'll be coming here once a week to learn computer skills and how to use computers. Hi, I'm Mrs. Nelson. I'm the media media paraprofessional here in the library and when you come in this is where you're gonna look it says stand books up in a in a door with the label near the floor so when you come in you're gonna bring your book and here's your spine and you're gonna put it right here on the cart just like this and that's what we want every time you come in <laughs> school social worker and I help kids feel better so um, I'll probably see a lot of you around the school. Hi! Welcome Roosevelt musicians. I can't wait to welcome you to the new music room this year. Have a great year. See you soon. No running in the hall. We walk quietly guys. Come on in, find your spot, hang your coats on the back, bottom first, so we have room for everyone. Nice job, now you can wash your hands with soap and water and use the dryers. Nice job. 
Now remember when we go through the line to keep our voices down so the lunch ladies can hear what you're asking for your choice to be. So if you are on this side of the door, you will definitely go to the back line. You will be the front line, okay? So let's go on in. Grab your tray, come on through. Be sure you have to pick um, two things from here. So um, make sure you pick two, otherwise they will send you back. Come on down and see a lunch lady and tell her what your choice is. Make sure she can hear you. Go over, grab your milk. Get in line, scan your card. Nice job. Take the farthest seat down on the row of tables. Thank you. And remember while we're in the lunchroom, we can visit, but we do keep our voices down because it gets very loud in here. We don't, if you need something, raise your hand, we'll come and help you. Nice job. And we always raise our hand to dump our tray. And then when we dump our trays, we, oh, you may dump. We, yeah, perfect. We go down and then we file back this way. Kuwal and I help with the first grade students. And I'm Mrs. Kuhn and I work with mainly second grade. We help all students learn and grow to, to be, be the, the best, best that you can be. Mrs. Hogan. I'm Mrs. Holmgren. Hogan. Holmgren. Hogan. Holmgren. Hi boys and girls, welcome to the art room. Can't wait to see you one time a week and we'll make some beautiful artwork together. in line. Are you too close or too far apart from each other? Check other traffic. Do we have any class coming? Looks good. All right, eyes ahead and on me and let's continue down the hall. opportunity room para. Uh, you might find me in the morning greeting you as you come into the building. If you get a yellow slip from a teacher or just need a break from learning, come to my office in the media center. Um. Miss Jenny, I need an opportunity to make it right. Come on in, take a seat. Thanks everybody, have a good school year. We'll see you around the building. Which one of us is dressed appropriately? Not Mrs. Spectre, Miss Mosco. Why? We need to have our tennis shoes with us every day. And if you don't bring them to school, they need to be in your locker. Um, when we're in fire, you have to have shoes. And to be on the playground, you need to have shoes as well. 
Mrs. Specht, what are you going to do with that hat? Oops, I better take it off to show respect. You can only wear hats on special dress-up days at school. Hi, I'm Mr. Dan. I'm the Boiler Engineer at Roosevelt Elementary School. My job is to keep the building warm in the wintertime and cool in the summertime. And I also clean up in the cafeteria after lunch and keep the building clean for everybody. Have a great school year. If your parents waiting for you in the parking lot, we ask that you wait to be crossed by either the crossing guard or one of the adults. Students, if you're getting picked up after school, we ask that you arrive in the row listed by your grade number. Hello, I'm Terry Ronay, the principal here. We have a wonderful entryway for our parents to pick up their students, but we have a couple certain uh, rules and ways to handle this would be helpful in making sure your children get to you very safely. So first of all, you have two options. One, you can have you can park in the parking lot. These two rows are for you to park. No staff will park there. You can come in, park there, and as you can see, your student, your child can be crossed safely across and go to your car, and you can just remain there. That's the first option. The second option is you can remain in the row, and you can come on up and just wait for your child at the curb. Okay, so when you come up, your children will be lined up by grade, in a row and they will wait for your car to arrive. We are asking that you pull yourself all the way up as far as you can with as much as space allows and then we'll release your child to you. We do not want students running in between cars and running to a moving vehicle. So we'll get you moved up and then we'll release your child to you. That will assure your child to reach you safely. Thank you. Hi kids. We wanted to talk to you a little bit more about dismissal time and getting on the bus. This year it will be a little different. Your teachers will be escorting you all the way out to your bus. So you'll remain walking when you're outside as well and then you will go to the bus that is assigned by your teacher. You're only allowed to ride the bus that is assigned to you. Sometimes the bus gets full and then the bus driver may assign you to a different bus as an overflow bus and you do follow their directions and do so. We do not use number 23, Route 23, for an overflow, and we will not use bus 12 unless you have special permission. Three. Happy